Alhamdulillah, we are here in the name of Allah, and we are here in the name of Allah, and we are here in the name of Allah, and we are here in the name of Allah, and we are here First, Alhamdulillah, beginning praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking Allah's guidance and Allah's forgiveness bearing witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah and Allah alone and bearing witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah is the last of his prophets and messengers alhamdulillah he said don't worry about it right First, I want to begin the Khutbat al Juma by asking something from you. Usually, the second Khutbah in Dar Hijra is almost always given by our Imam Sheikh Shakir. And until just a few minutes ago, I was praying he would show up because he had a surgery a few days ago and he's recovering but sometimes you, you get a, a kind of feeling that you know that it is the day of Juma and you're going to get yourself together and so I was hoping if the Imam felt strong enough that he would walk in and subhanallah even if he had to sit down that he would give the khutbah today so alhamdulillah while I'm grateful to Allah to be your khatib for today, really I was making dua that I would not be your khatib for today. But I want to give you, alhamdulillah, just a very, very short reminder. Yesterday in America, in the United States of America, the day was called Thanksgiving. And I want to remind everyone, subhanAllah, that even though they call this day Thanksgiving, I like to rename it. I like to rename it. 
But walhamdulillah, I want to first give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Sheikh Shakir to have a full recovery bi idnillah. With that, I want perhaps subhanallah to remind you and to remind myself that although yesterday was the national day of family dinner in America, and subhanallah, we know the power and the effect of families having dinner together. For many of us who grew up in another age where families got together for uh, dinner every day, now we have left that family dinner tradition and so the mom eats one time and the dad eats another time and the children they just get their food on the run and they've talked about in society the negative effects of not having family time and so alhamdulillah i want to remind you about a day i'm going to call it Thanks gathering for giving. Well, alhamdulillah, thanks gathering for giving. Because I want to let you in on a secret, subhanAllah, that you have because you are blessed to be a Muslim. You're blessed to be a Muslim. You're blessed to be someone who says, I take my guidance by submitting my will to the will of the one who created me so that I might be successful in this life and in the hereafter. There are many people who are looking for this. It's called happiness. We might say salam. Salam more than peace. Tranquility, health. To be, alhamdulillah, in, in a state where your relationship with your creator causes you to be relaxed. You have hope when other people have despair because you have acquired this something that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah reminds us in Surah al room that those who believe and whose hearts are filled with the satisfaction of their remembrance to Allah that without any doubt, these people find in the remembrance of Allah, Sakina, tranquility, happiness. You find it. If you are in that relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and when nothing is breaking that relationship, you begin to feel at peace. I want to remind you about this day and I invite you over this weekend to, to have some family time and some time to give thanks to Allah. The real hamd and the real shukr is for Allah, not for the turkey. By reminding you of something as I remind myself. Let us not forget on this day that there is a celebration of the victory of the survival of settler colonialists. They survived because of the generosity of their host. And America has repaid that hospitality by taking over the entire country. I always remember the native people when I think about Thanksgiving, I always think about the native people. The remnants of them are either in the reservation and many of them are now called undocumented immigrants. They were here first. When you see the Latino brother and sister from Mexico, Mexico used to go all the way up until they had the, the purchased, they negotiated and purchased part of it and took over part of it, the Western Territory. And so I never forget the day of the sacrifice. And I want you to know that some of the poorest people in America 
live on reservations. Not in the ghetto. They live on reservations. But I still say that even with the phenomenon of stolen land, a nation built by stolen labor, my descendants who were brought from Africa built this nation. After centuries of slavery and of colonial occupation, I still believe that this is a great country. It has become a great country. Despite all of the negative circumstances, we still have a lot to be thankful for in this country. Alhamdulillah, in Virginia, I'm not a slave anymore. I can eat and drink wherever I want to go. It is a nation that has come to welcome immigrants freely, not the way they used to. And so, alhamdulillah, notwithstanding that history and whatever personal family stories that we have, we have, alhamdulillah, much to be thankful to Allah for. But today, alhamdulillah, in that thanks and that hamd and that shukr, I want to share, with some, share something with you that I learned out of this gratitude and thanks for Allah. Some months ago I watched a movie. I know some of you don't think I, I watch movies. I watched the movie. I'm, I'm gonna have a, I didn't go to the movie, I watched on Netflix. My wife said, let's watch a movie. So alhamdulillah, after the show, we sat down, we watched this movie. Called, alhamdulillah, happiness, happy, the movie. Happy, the movie. And wallahi, I learned in the movie something that I knew from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, but they put it together in a very nice way. In a way it made it easy for you to understand the big picture about Islam. And all Muslims, I wish I had more time, but time is, time is short, always. The Prophet والسلام, he said, people marry for four reasons. One, for beauty. Two, for wealth. Three, for status. But he said the best reason to marry, Dean. I'm going to show you something from the movies. They said, well, alhamdulillah, look at this. They said that when people are looking to become happy, whether it's in America or in other countries, everyone that they surveyed for the movie said, I would be happy, I would be in tranquility, I would be at peace if I could be richer. If I had more wealth, I'd be happy. They say, okay, well, if you had that, what else would make you happy? They say, I'd like to be more beautiful. Two. Person said, well, if I had wealth and I had beauty, I'd want to have status. If I'm the employee, I want to be the manager. If I'm the manager, I want to be the vice president. If I'm the vice president, I want to be the president. If I'm the president, I want to be the CEO. They're always running after something to try to make them happier, more satisfied. And all of them are extrinsic. Outside of themselves, all of it is external. The movie said, you know what? really contributes significantly to happiness. If you have this right, this muscle of flesh in your body, then if it's right, your whole body is right. Kalbun Salim. How do you get it? 
They said, how do you get it? They studied people around the world. They found people are significantly happier who are regularly having gratitude for what they have. That if you say, subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, looking at what you have, you are likely to be more happy. The more time you spend thinking about Allah's blessing on you, the more happy you will be. Gratitude. So wow. Uh, and by the way, that means doesn't matter how much you have, but having gratitude for what you've got makes a difference. I don't mean to be complacent. I don't want you to think Imam Johari said, just be complacent. I'm not saying that. The second thing that they found, SubhanAllah. First, shukr. Second, I'm letting your mind think now. Are you thinking? What could be the most second thing? Jama'ah. If you spend time in Jama'ah, people who have good relationships, their families meet, they get together with their friends. The SubhanAllah, people who get together, they have community, they tend to be happier than people who go it alone. Look at all the shooters they have now. They talk about the shooting in school, the teenagers, whatever. Most of them, they are, they have all their friends on Facebook. But real human relationships, lacking. Alhamdulillah, to have time to spend with friends and family, even if you don't get along with them all the time, increases your happiness. You know, so when the Prophet salam, says that Salah and Jamaat is 25 or 7 times better, what's it about? It's about Jamaat. There's more barakah in the food where there's more hands. Right? If you're eating and you eat with somebody else, subhanAllah, you feel happier. I know sometimes you go to the, some of these restaurants. Alan? No, after. Okay, okay, okay. You go to some restaurants, you just get a, the fancy restaurant, you get so little food you can't even share it with nobody. But alhamdulillah, the family style, there's more barakah when there's more hands. The third thing that they found after saying hamd and shukr, the second being in jama'ah, the third thing that they found, doing something fi sabilillah. Doing something for others, expecting nothing in return. Volunteering. Going to help somebody, you say, I don't want anything. This is Fisa Bidilah. I'm going to give Sadaqah. Somebody has a problem. I hear about it. SubhanAllah. I rush to do it. And the hadith says, in the way that your right hand doesn't know what your left hand is doing. We don't want anybody to know. They said this, SubhanAllah, statistically increases people's happiness. I'm going to invite you, alhamdulillah, as a lover of Allah, make yourself happy by regularly engaging in acts of praising and thanking Allah for what you have. My mother used to say before she passed away, as you go through life in search of your goal, keep your eye on the donut and not the hole. Think about what you have, not thinking about what the other person has and what you don't have. The Prophet ﷺ said, if you want to have gratitude for where you are, don't look at people who have more than you. Look down at people who have less than you. When you look there, you say, oh, subhanAllah, Allah bless me with so much. Gratitude, alhamdulillah. Stay in jama'ah, get together. Just do the drop in, go by. Fulan, Fulan's house. Knock on the door. Salaam alaikum. I just came by just to give you salam. I don't want anything from you. 
just to be together with you, subhanAllah. And the third, make it a habit, alhamdulillah, to do acts of, of charity, of goodness. Whether you have money, you don't have money. But go out for Amma Mir Atta wa Taqa wa Sadaqa bil Husna fa Sanu Yasiruhu lil Yusra. Do something, alhamdulillah, fi sabirillah, that Allah might make your way easy and add to your happiness. Aqulu kawli hadha safal alikum. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala rasulihi kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi jma'in ma ba'ad. So Allah gives and forgives and man gets and forgets. Hamd and shukr. Staying in jama'ah, please brothers come forward. You know I love the day after Thanksgiving because there are many, come forward brothers, I ask you come forward, I'm looking at you. Well, I, my son, when he was little, he used to cover his eyes and think that if, if, he, if, I couldn't, if he couldn't see me, that he became invisible. I'm looking at you. Come forward, child. Their brothers stand up. They need to sit down. Well, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, shukr. Staying in jama'ah. Doing things fi sabirillah. Today, there is a great tragedy going on now in the Philippines. And I know always there's something going on somewhere in the world. We have been asked today by Islamic Relief to provide some Islamic relief to the people in the Philippines. And I want you to understand that this is a part of your zakah. It is an obligation upon you to find people in the categories. And one of those categories are the people who are in the Philippines now, whether they are Muslim or otherwise. That when you, alhamdulillah, say, we the Muslims, we did something to help you. We didn't say, you have to take this book and read it at all and we'll give you food, no. That, alhamdulillah, it is our obligation to our fellow human being. And it will be, bi'idhnillah, a tremendous dawah. How do I know? Because I'm the product of someone else's dawah. That I met Muslims who, they extended themselves to me, fi sabirillah. I always observe their akhlaq, praying and fasting. Spending in Allah's cause. Alhamdulillah, coming in jama'ah and pray, being together. I said, man, what is that? They said, oh, this is Islam. And finally, alhamdulillah, Allah guided me like he guided many of us. Today I want to ask you after the salah to look for a moment down at the people. Hundreds of thousands have no home. They have no food. They're looking for resources. They're crying out why the world has so much, but they're slow to give us relief. I'm going to ask you after Salat just to stay with us for five minutes. And alhamdulillah, according to the statistics that are supported by the Quran, you will become happier. Maybe you say, did I do anything today of benefit? What did I do today? What did I do yesterday? Mm, I don't remember if I did any, did I do anything yesterday? But subhanAllah, today I'm going to do something and when I do it, alhamdulillah, Allah will make my way easy. There will be a tranquility in my heart when I look on the television and the news, I see people are begging. They're drinking a rotten water. And you say, SubhanAllah, today I did something to make a difference. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on us. For us, alhamdulillah, to have gratitude for what Allah has provided. 
We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to provide from us a benefit to others. Oh Allah, we ask that you keep us, alhamdulillah, constantly in your remembrance, Ya Allah. As we remember you, Ya Allah, that you would remember us. Oh Allah, keep us steadfast in our prayers, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, sometimes we forget where the source of our risk comes from. We are busy running, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, help us that we might five times a day focus our attention and thank you, Ya Allah, for what you have done for us. Oh Allah, we ask you for a blessing on our families, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, on our children, alhamdulillah. On our wives and husbands, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, gather our families together, Ya Allah, in security, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, provide for us risk on tayyibun, Ya Allah. Provide us a righteous risk, Ya Allah, righteous income, a righteous wealth, and preserve it, Ya Allah that we might spend from it in your cause. Oh Allah, we ask that you might answer our prayer. Those who are having difficulties, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, if you would answer our prayer. Oh Allah, make our way easy in this life. Oh Allah, give us tranquility in our hearts. Forgive us of our sins, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, and enter us, walhamdulillah, after this life into your paradise, ma'abrar. Oh Allah, we ask for your mercy and your peace on the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, and on his family and on his companions. And all of the NBA, Ya Allah, and those who follow the way of haq, Ya Allah, of truth until the day of judgment. Ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullahikum. Akim salat. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ورب آمين إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون نحن أولياءكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزلا من غفور رحيم ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال وقال إنني من المسلمين ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم ومن أحسن قولا من من دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين 
ولن تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وما يلقاها إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقاها إلا ذو حظ عظيم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله اكبر الله اكبر الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترون عين اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترون عين اليقين ثم لتسألن 